Hello, my lovely Leos. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April love reading. Just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. I do suggest that you check out your uh, rising, your moon sign, or your other uh, chart placements in your astrological chart there. Um, very calm energy today here for your love. So we're going to dive right in and look into your past, present, and future and what your guides, your higher self, your divine helpers, oh goodness, have for you for the month of April here. Okay. What do my Leo's spirit need to know about their love life for the month of April 2021? Okay. All right. Okay. And for cross watchers, just remember that the energies can be switched around here. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, what you do not see coming here is the Ace of, or excuse me, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work. So there could be a relationship here that we'll look into where it's going to take a little bit of work, Leo. And the first card off the bat here is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is a, the breakup card. So there could have been um, some abandonment here. Um, it's about some sort of loss, um, some sort of difficulty here. It could be um, you being in your head and something happened where there was a breakup. But I do feel because, this, uh, because of some sort of devil energy going on here and that's what led to the breakup the devil energy the devil represents some sort of toxicity within the relationship so this could have been addictions this could be codependency this could be obsession or lies manipulation this could be some sort of narcissistic person that you are with it could also be somebody's shadow side uh, coming out. I, I do feel possibly that this could be twin flame energy uh, or at least a very heavy relationship with a heavy burdens because I am seeing quite a lot going on in this uh, love reading for the month of April for you. But I do see there was a breakup here in the recent past due to some sort of toxic environment. And with that, due to that breakup, we have the empress coming in and the empress is all about fertility. Um, she is the, she runs the gateway between the spirit world and our 3d world. She's all about um, abundance, that mothering energy, that heart chakra energy. And I feel for you, I feel like that's showing up because you tried to nurture this situation. You tried to put in the work here with a situation but the devil energy, this toxicity just kept showing up for you. And you, I feel like you've tried to birth a new relationship within the same relationship multiple times. And then we get in your present energy here and we have the wheel, the wheel of fortune here. This is unexpected, sudden changes. It's the end of delays. It's possibly meeting someone by surprise. And that's coming up here again in your present energy. Um, and we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups represents having a lot of different choices, a lot of options. So I feel with, um, with your love reading here, you have the options of going back to um, a past relationship, which, you know, if you had that devil energy, unless, unless some sort of toxicity is getting worked on, I wouldn't suggest going back to that. Um, but you do have the Knight of Swords coming in in your future. So I do feel like there are plenty of options here with the Seven of Cups coming up. And um, this is about also indecision. Um, 
with all these choices, you could be left with, you know, you being in your head, what do I do now? What is the next step? But I feel like because of this breakup, this past, um, past issue that's went into play here, we have the justice card showing up. You have a lot of major arcana. So a lot of big moments going on in your life right now. And the justice card is all about balance. It's all about karma. Um, it could be for some of you legalities. Uh, you could be going through a divorce because we do have that breakup card here. This is about fairness. Um, this is also your soul path. And like I said, in this relationship, I feel like there's a lot of lessons here that needed to be learned and that you're still learning. Um, but with this justice card here, you're on the right path and what, what is right will become into balance here. And I feel for some of you, I'm almost, I'm hearing the word um, custody battle or some sort of property battle. So I feel for some of you, this is you going through a possible divorce and there being some sort of struggle uh, to balance that out in a positive way. But I feel like it will work out in your favor. But in your future here, we do have the Seven of Swords here. And the Seven of Swords is sneaky energy. It's deceit. It's trying to get away with something. So again, it could be it going on with your uh, present energy of the balance, the legalities, and possibly somebody trying to take more than they deserve. But I feel like it is going to weigh out, like I said, in your favor. So just pay attention to that um, kind of shady energy going on here that may come up here in the future regarding something in the legal system or something with the courts. Uh, but I feel, again, it is going to go along in your favor. But in order to do so, we do have the strength card coming up. This is Leo energy. This is standing your in your power, standing your ground, um, endurance. This is also um, compassion, trying to maintain compassion in a difficult situation. And the energy that I am picking up on here from your past situation is you almost you want to get out of this situation. You are wiping your hands clean and you're like, um, no more. You're wanting to birth a new idea. You're wanting to, you're wanting to start fresh. And for some of you, this could represent you are currently pregnant or you're, um, possibly you're trying to get pregnant. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but there's definitely some sort of, um, new beginning or something that is being birthed, uh, as we speak here. And then in your final card here for future, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords here is the fastest moving knight in the entire deck. It's, uh, it's all about being assertive. It's taking action. It's being successful. It's somebody coming in and saving the day. And I feel for you, this, this could be new energy coming in. So possibly if you are going through a divorce, you might be uh, seeing somebody before the divorce is finalized here and somebody is definitely coming in to kind of, um, I don't want to say pick up the pieces, but be your knight in shining armor or be somebody that does save the day and helps you during this time of stress. Um, but for others, it could be you saving yourself, you coming in and picking up the pieces. And I, I am feeling a lot of, um, you know, a lot of kind of going back and forth with something going on in the court system for you, Leo. And you are showing up in your own reading here. You know, this is your energy on the strength card. And I feel like you are standing your ground in a situation and you are coming in hot with that Knight of Swords here. And then a few extra bonus here for the future cards is we have the Six of Pentacles. This is um, giving and receiving. This is an unexpected gift from the divine, but it could be an unexpected gift from uh, from an ener some source of energy that you weren't expecting. Then we have the high priestess here. The high priestess is using her intuition uh, to move forward in a situation. We have the seven of wands here next. And the seven of wands, she's standing in her personal power. She's standing, you know, she's sitting in her bubble. And she is at her personal best. She's going the distance. She's living life on her own terms now. Um, and defending her own self. And I feel like that, again, goes into play with the legalities um, of what possibly could be going on from your past. You're standing your own ground here. 
And then you have the Page of Wands coming in. And the Page of Wands is always about news. So I feel like the page in this case is uh, you're acting on an idea. You're giving it a go. You're uh, you're eager to start something new. Again, that, that birthing and that creation of that new idea. And then lastly, we have, oh, I love this to end your, your energy and your future here, is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is all about new, not just financial, but new beginnings in love, new beginnings um, building that groundwork in this 3D reality. Again, you did have that Empress energy here, and she's that gateway. She's the gateway between spirit world and this 3D world, and your future is looking good. You are, you're building new, completely new. Spirit, can we please get some more guidance here for our beautiful Leos for the month of April regarding love? So again, a whole new beginning based on possibly a stressful uh, ending, separation, divorce, breakup. And then you have a lot of choices, a lot of choices to make right now, a lot of decisions, or a lot of options, I should say. Not so much choices, but you have a lot of different options. Uh, but I feel like they're going, <laughs> and as I say options, you have choose wisely. And this is, this is the seven card. This is basically the same as you know, the seven, the seven of cups here is you having all these choices and decisions and options. And then this is the choose wisely. So, so make sure, you know, you have these two hands pointing toward the divine here, these two birds. So I feel like the, the choices that you are going to make for yourself, you will come out on top. Um, but pay attention. I'm hearing pay attention to the signs and read the fine print. Okay. Um, and as I say fine print, mental uh, conflict comes up here. So again, there might be things on the surface that look kind of confusing, but read that fine print. And if this isn't on paper regarding a legal document, um, try to read it in between the lines on something, okay? And this could be emotional as well. Really look inside uh, the cracks of something uh, to decipher what would be the best decision. Then we have the third eye chakra coming in here. And this is that intuition piece. Again, this is listening to that intuition and uh, making choices based on uh, what's in your highest good. And then speaking up for it. And then, uh, you know, standing your ground, standing in your power, Leo, um, and speaking your truth. And I feel like if you do that, you, you can't go wrong. Okay, let's get a final card here for my Leos regarding a love situation. Regarding a love situation. Okay, I, I am hearing the name Jimmy um, or James or Jimmy could be a nickname. Goodness. Um, but I am feeling a new energy. This could be the past person too, but I feel like somebody either coming in or let's say you are going through a divorce, but you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You could be a Jimmy. Uh, or your person could be a Jimmy or a James. Or there could be a uh, Jimmy or James that's kind of halting the situation. Okay, so regeneration. Yes, this is something completely being reborn, rebirthed into your 3D reality here. I feel like you are going to move forward. And I feel like if you've possibly, possibly been having any issues in the shoulder areas at all, um, I feel like you're no longer carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and worrying about everybody else. And this is going to come out in your favor. So again, I feel like legality is here um, possible or, um, you know, a, a breakup, divorce due to some toxicity in the past. You have a few choices to be made, but you do have a lot of different options. Um, but your future does look good. You're starting fresh. You're feeling good. Uh, you're listening to your intuition here. And you have unexpected resources coming in to help you along. And this could come in the form of um, this knight of swords. So this your uh, knight in shining armor or the person that comes up and saves the day for you. And it could be uh, unexpected resources in uh, payments. Uh, something possibly is a lower cost than you thought it would be. Excuse me. But I do feel um, you're speaking up for what you want. And you're not, uh, you're putting your foot down. You're not dealing with any BS from the past anymore. 
And even if it might seem like a slow process to kind of finish it or wrap it up, it is going in your favor in the right direction. So I do feel positive here for you with these new beginnings and this new person that's coming into your life here. If they're not already there already, uh, it does look good. They are, will help you through this time. So if this does resonate with you, Leo, please smash that like button and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time.